Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're checking out the second Lemma hypercar here in our Factor 2. This is the URD Moyota GR010. And if you don't speak non-licensed car, this is the Toyota GR010. Of course, the 2021 hypercar WEC World Champions probably will be again this year. Uh, and yeah, the first ever Le Mans hypercar, I guess, to be revealed to the world. Uh, super, super cool car. We have it here in our Factor 2. This is a paid mod as well by the lovely guys over at United Racing Design. Before we get into it, I'd like to thank all of my channel members for their continued support. If you want to become a channel member, you can for just $1 a month. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's pin the throttle put my arm under my headphone cord so I don't rip my headphones out and let's get on to the track here ladies and gentlemen the URD Toyota GR010 of course if you watch the Glickenhaus video you'll already know some of my uh, thought points on R Factor 2 but if you missed that one I'll kind of reiterate them in my opinion RF2 is the king of endurance racing in terms of the WEC multi-class with prototypes and things like that. The physics, the cars themselves, the official ones, especially the GTEs and the LMP2 Orica are absolutely fantastic. And of course, the most recent laser scan of Circuit de la Sarthe. This is the place you want to go for Le Mans. And we are missing out on LMP1 cars. Uh, Baikalas did actually have their official LMP1 car mod in our Factor 2. Very good car mod. I never covered it on the channel, but yeah, really, really good. Definitely has uh, been fun to play with it uh, in the time that I have when I was playing our Factor 2 a lot for my video review. Uh, but we were always missing out pretty much on the top level WEC series. Uh, LMP1 came and went, and now we have Le Mans Hypercar, and to have some really strong LMH cars here in our Factor 2 to get the full WEC experience is absolutely amazing. This thing is really understeer. I was not expected that. I guess I gotta treat it a little bit like a heavier LMP2 car almost, it feels like. Faster in the straights, but a bit heavier through the corners. I guess that's what you expect when you have a ton of batteries. Let's actually talk about the powertrain of this car because in my opinion, it is very, very interesting. So this thing has a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged petrol V6 engine with of course a hybrid system. The car, as you can also see right now, is seven speed gearbox. So I think the Glick was only, I think it was seven. It could have been seven, it could have been eight. I forgot, but yeah, really, really fun car. Very similar to an F1 car, except F1 cars aren't, uh, <laughs> they aren't twin turbochargers, they're just single turbos. Going through the Porsche curves for the first time, feeling the car under load. This is where we're really gonna feel how good this thing is. Yeah, man, it feels good. <laughs> In terms of driving feel, it feels like a hyper car. It feels definitely a bit different to the Assetto Corsa one, but that might actually just be the uh, RF2 physics engine. Uh, of course, being based off of R-Factor Pro, which if you don't know, is what uh, professional racing teams like F1 teams, uh, Toyota here, use in their million, million dollar simulators. Uh, of course, again, that's they're not using R-Factor 2, they're just using uh, a, a more souped up physics version of R-Factor 2, one that would just be non-economical to give to us uh, lowly plebs, but we still got something really, really good here, and it drives quite well, I have to say. As for the car model, it's using the same one as we have in Assetto Corsa, so it is very, very high quality, really, really beautiful to look at as well. The reflections on all uh, ultra settings here in our Factor 2 look absolutely superb. As for the sounds, I've noted that at least with both of these, they sound quite muted inside. Like, I guess it feels like you have earplugs in, which you do when you're uh, in real life in a race car. Uh, so, I guess it's kind of realistic in that aspect, but 
I don't know, I like to hear a really loud car behind me, uh, but I get that it's it's probably more realistically to have a more dulled down sound, but as soon as you get to the uh, trackside shots, which I'll leave at the end of the video, this thing sounds really, really nice. Overall, the Toyota is an absolute beast. I love this thing so much. It's really fun to drive and to have now a pretty full WEC grid, I guess minus the Alpine and the Peugeot. Uh, to have the real hypercars, I guess, not the LMP1 car, again, minus the Peugeot, is really, really fun to have. And overall, if you have our factor 2, these cars, both of the Glick and this one will run you $4 USD, uh, 4 euros as well. So if you're an R factor 2 fan, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't pick these things up. Really, really high quality, really fun to drive. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Thank you so much for the support on my uh, Spa 24 hours. Uh, that was a ton of fun to stream. Uh, didn't go perfectly my way the 100% uh, of the 24 hours, but we still had a, a finish that I think I can be proud of, and uh, I had a really good third stint that I am very, very proud of myself for. So overall, I'll take it. Thank you to all of you who came out and supported and thank you for watching this video i'll leave you with some uh, off-board tv cam gameplay and yeah i'll see you all in the next one have a good one guys